Hello and welcome to another tutorial video for Solink AI. This is a continuation of the last video discussing the ranged and melee combo AI. Uh, the first thing I want to do is uh, something I forgot to do in the last video. If you noticed in the last video when the skeleton sorcerer was moving around and attacking, he always had the stored staff and the equipped staff. Uh, what we want is to have the staff stored and then when he uses it to equip it and then to put it back when it's not being used. And that was the whole purpose for when we went in and selected these objects and called them staff equipped and staff stored. But I forgot to assign them. So we go into the uh, combat system. And for both weapon sets, melee and ranged, uh, they're, they're going to be the same. Uh, the stored weapons, so let's add one and select the staff stored. And the equipped weapon, we'll add one and use the staff equipped. And do the same thing for the ranged attack because it does use the same weapon. Add that and equipped. Alright, now if we don't do anything else we will notice that the AI will have the staff on it back and not equipped and it'll swap in and out when it uh, is going into combat mode. I do want to change the lighting a little. Uh, didn't look very good last time as far as uh, showing the video so I'm going to make it afternoon hopefully the lighting will look better alright let's see if that works okay he equipped it right off the bat but you can see that it's not on his back anymore and it's just in his hand so that that did work so that's good alright Okay, now what we want to do is add requires aiming to the fireball spell ability. I'm going to go into the character. Uh, go to the abilities, fireball spell. And we're going to tag this, uh, check this requires aiming. Now, what we need to do is we're going to go into change this fire spot and put it underneath one of the bones, uh, the torso bone, which would be one of the spines. Lee, let's see, that looks like a good one. Or that one, which would be best? One way of telling is if you manipulate it. Okay, we definitely don't want that one. And then there's that one, maybe? Let's see what the other one... Wait, did I try this one? Okay, what this one? This one seems fine. So we'll put the fire spot under that bone. Now, I'm going to make this nut unpack the prefab to make it easier. I'll drag this up there under this spine. That's the one we said. That should be good. And I think we'll just move it up a little. All right. Now under locomotion, it has aim data. So we want to make the root bone this one here, the spine two. This is what is going to uh, be rotated in order to uh, aim. Let's make 
We'll start the weight off at 0.5. We should make a 30 degree angle at least. We'll leave the rest the same for now. We're not really going to know if, if this is going to work until we try it. And I'll show you how you can debug that. So the way we're going to debug it is I'm going to put a platform here where the character is, the uh, target character is going to be standing on. Oops. Make it a cube. Make it pretty wide. Maybe not that big. Put it over here. Make it a little taller. Okay. Go ahead and put Ellen up on top of that. I'm going to make it static. And I'm going to rebake navigation. Okay. Now the idea is that if the aiming's working correctly, the skeleton will aim will be able to look up towards Ellen and shoot at an angle up this way. And then we can also test the opposite, putting the skeleton up here and Ellen down here and see if he aims down. Now the other thing we have to do is we do have to put events in the animation. So let's find that sorcerer skeleton again. And we look at the fireball spell. Okay. And go to events. And we should start aiming right when he's about to shoot. Let's do it right there. So we're going to do event, start aiming. Apply. All right, and then we also want to do a stop aiming. We can just do it right here after he's done shooting. So do event, stop aiming. All right. Well, let's just see how that works so far. More than likely won't work the first time. These models are very different. Okay, see, he aimed really high up. Okay, so what we can do is we can pause this. It's not even aiming in the right direction here. So we go to the character locomotion. Before I do this, I want not this fine. I'm going to make this a separate window here. Okay, so I'm going to get a good view of it and see where he's aiming. I mean, it looks really like he's going at a odd angle. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and adjust this and just see. Let's make this 20. And if you do a step, so that didn't help. Let's make 90. Okay, he's really going at a weird angle, so that's definitely not, we don't want to do that one. He's kind of tilting side to side. Okay, so after a lot of trial and error and playing with the numbers, I came up with this. 
uh, weight, full weight of 1, uh, rotations at 0, negative 90, negative 90. Negative 90 seems to be, uh, or positive 90 on some models seems to be good. So you can always try negative 90 in different places here to see what kind of effect it has. Uh, and with those numbers, I'll go ahead and run it. And there you go. Nice angle down for Amy, and it's working. Uh, thanks for watching.